Welcome everybody to the first video location of 2023 and in today's video we are currently in a place called Murs Walking Track. Now this track goes for about roughly two and a half hours, 1.9 kilometers. I'm looking forward to seeing how it's all going to be looking throughout today's video. I just want to say quickly a big massive thank you to Samira Weil as she has sent me some amazing spoken word pieces that I'm going to be putting throughout this video for you all. You guys are definitely going to enjoy hearing the great narrative spoken piece word by Samira as I'm showing you all this incredible location. Without further ado, I think we'll get right into showing you Mer's walking track. Let's start this adventure of the first location, everyone. Woohoo! Before we get right into today's video, I just want to let you know that it was a little bit bumpy getting to this place. So definitely make sure you got a car that's suitable for driving this off-road country sort of road to get here. I found that you had to go a little slow and there are little bumps here and there, but overall it was all right enough for me to get to today's location. So can't wait to get right into this. In the hue of spotted sunlight, peeking between the canopy of a tree. Climb, climb. It's not about getting it right, for nature and its beauty are free. The smell of eucalyptus drifts in and out, caught between the breeze of land and sea. Stumbling along tree stumps left behind from felling, the heavy laden forest breathes down on me. The sunrise kiss will soon turn into moonlight beams, casting shadows existing beneath the black butt, hidden between the forest of dreams. The crude painted timber sign point its direction as the heat bears down, everything is not in a straight line. The sky sneaks through the blue gum, all blue notes amidst the gentle hum of life on the forest floor. Apparently behind here, this is meant to be Mer's lookout, but as you can see, it's a very overgrown with trees. What I saw from images, it actually looked like a very nice location and it showed all the bushland trees and mountains. So what a big shame I couldn't show that for you guys, but I'm sure if all this was cut down, you would have all loved the view and it would have been absolutely breathtaking to show you. It's not always magic as I climb and climb, breathing air into the rocks of forever and time. In the hue of spotted sunlight peeking between the canopy of a tree. Climb, climb. It's not about getting it right, for nature and its beauty are free. Sweat, heat, water and tears, pain in my thighs, Remind me that everything is fine. I'm alive, the forest is alive as I strive to get better, be better, to meet nature at its best and accept her at her worst. 
The lookout stands tall, magnificent in its distance, seemingly small. A bit further, a bit further. Keep going, the trees whisper. The ocean blue of the distant sea taunts me. It's haunting in nature of a long loved memory. Memories of utopia upon a distant shore of wanting and waiting for more. The driving force of everything in a distant township beneath the mist of eucalyptus. In the hue of spotted sunlight peeking between the canopy of a tree. Climb, climb. It's not about getting it right, for nature and its beauty are free. Saw dusty pathways, hidden tree stumps tip me now and then and leave me to lay in the spiky yet soft underlay. Whispering, whispering, as the trees hush and brush its leaves against me. Looking at this truck, as much as what I've seen so far, wow. It's very lush and very much a rainforest in my opinion, looking at all the different type of flora around. In particular, have seen quite a lot of these, I had to describe it, what, these type of leaves. Like it's so cool just to see them every step that you're walking and looking at all the different type of bark trees. Wow.
Luckily, I actually just found that there's a sign back there and it's telling me we've got to go this direction. If this is what's the start of this section, I'm looking forward to seeing the next part of where it's going to go. Hmm, quite lovely. You're probably wondering why I'm back up where I started the video. Look, I kept going a bit further down and I started hearing growling. And I did see an animal, like a tail to the back of it. So I was thinking to myself, right, okay, I don't want to put myself in danger. So I've come back up here. What I'm going to try and do is, is I'm going to try and do the other side now. See how far I can go with that. And I still want to make this video for you guys and I'm looking forward to seeing what's on the other side now and just go as far as I can. I'm sorry that I couldn't show a specific section of Mer's walking track for you all, but let's go see what the other side's got to offer and we'll go from there.
so I've sort of gotten maybe just a little bit before a quarter onto this track but here's the thing I'm just it's a lovely location and I've really enjoyed being in the moment but I just don't feel comfortable to continue on walking this track now the track keeps going down there and then you loop around back to where we just saw that previous spot that we were but I'm feeling a little bit not like that I can trust because I feel like there's animals that might come and attack me I really hope that anyone else who's trying to do this make sure that you have someone that you got that can come with you to do it it's very safer to be with a few people to do this rather than just going by yourself like what I've done so I would like to hope that maybe if I can find look at some lookouts or some other places that are around this actual beautiful place that I can still at least show you guys so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this video and yeah maybe I can look around and see what else it has to offer but I'm going to be ending the the track experience here i'm afraid hopefully you all enjoy what i have shown to you all and i'm looking forward to maybe showing you some more section parts around this beautiful place i'm gonna go back to the car have something to eat and yeah i'll see what i can shoot for you all i finally just had some bit of lunch and now i feel a little bit more energized now than what i was before and i was looking onto google maps turns out this road behind me actually has quite a few different interesting parts that you can go to so what i was thinking i'm going to drive down here and i'm going to like stop at different parts if there's any good places i can stop to show you guys for the rest of the afternoon i did drive there when i first came here because i wasn't too sure how far i had to go so that's where the plan is at at the moment and i'm looking forward to seeing what will be down there and this is why i always say life's unexpected on my videos Little update, so I drived as far as I could, but this is where I'm going to stop. I did find, however, a place that we could go check out, and it's called Woodward Point. So I'm going to head back the road that I just came, go check out, see if there's anything interesting. I think it'll be nice to go see what's got to offer there. A cool breeze drifts up, ever too subtle to cool, questioning, am I a fool? Should I keep going or give up? Keep going, the trees whisper. The ocean blue of the distant sea taunts me, its haunting and nature of a long-loved memory. Push on, move, goddammit, before night falls and the sun is gone. I know the trees are guiding me as I listen, breath more quiet and less heavy, as the sky opens up and the sunlight glistens. And there she is, the lookout beyond all that isness, views unimaginable and a soup of loveless desire, as I stand stuck in the mire of all that is numb.
Welcome everybody to Woodward's Point. We finally made it. It's pretty lush actually being around here. It was a bit of an interesting challenge. There was quite a lot of cobwebs to try and get through this track to come here, but it wasn't too bad. Definitely worth the walk. I felt it was quite peaceful and relaxing and you can hear all those lovely bird sounds too in the background. It was nice to come and check out Woodward's Point. Can't wait to see where the rest of this afternoon goes for this video. I take a breath, close my eyes, and I whisper into the trees. Why do I not feel anything? They whisper back, because you are blind. Confusion sets in as I rage against the sunlight bearing down, staring at the sky, screaming, why? why? I look again, the eucalyptus mist, a haze across the distant township. Distant memories hidden beneath the whisper of the trees where everything loveless cracks open, my heart swelling with passion and love as I glimpse the ocean. I listen, and then I listen again to what the whisper of the tree is telling me. It's not about getting it right from nature and its beauty are free. I finally got back in the car and I think I'm going to be concluding it here for you all. Thank you so much for everybody who's watched. I hope I did you all proud as, and filmed as much as I could at Merce Walking Track and a bit of Woodward's point as well. Until next time everybody, life's an unexpected journey. You never know where it's going to go, like today for instance, and I will see you on another one of my videos. Take care everyone. Bye.